Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today we're off to get uh, some supplies for a much needed project on Twin 6 and that is it's time for a new livery. So uh, we got to get all the old decals off. I tried taking it off already with uh, just a little bit of heat and we got residue. So we're on our way to Canadian Tire, Canada, right? And uh, we're gonna get some adhesive remover and some back to black and do some detail work on the STI as well. Stay tuned, we're gonna take you through the whole steps. So we made it back to the garage from going to Canadian Tire and getting the 3M adhesive remover. Again, the reason why we needed to get that is I already tried taking the decal off on the other side unsuccessfully. So I needed the uh, adhesive remover. What we're gonna do on this side though, is take the hair dryer, warm up the decal peel it off and try to get as much of the adhesive with it as possible. If we can't, we've got the 3M adhesive remover and I also got some plastic razor blades so we can gently, using the lubrication of the adhesive remover, take the rest of the adhesive off. Now, prior to doing any of this, we washed the car and uh, took off all the marbles we could, uh, marble strikes from the racetrack. So the surface is clean and, and prepped and ready to go. So we should have hopefully no issues but we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Woo, she's hot now. Okay, so we're gonna try this, and if it's not warm enough, I'll have to go and get my heat gun and try it that way. But what we're gonna do is just find a corner here and literally pick at it and see how it comes away. And it's coming, but it's still got a lot of the adhesive with it. So what we're gonna do is actually go get the heat gun just got to be careful of the heat gun because they put out a lot more heat, more wattage, and uh, you don't want to damage the base paint. Okay, we got our handy dandy heat gun. This is a Harbor Freight Princess Auto Special. So it's, uh, it's not Makita, but it'll do the job. Woo! Oh yeah, it's way hotter. Yeah, that'll do a that'll do a way better job, but you got to be super careful with these things because it can damage the paint, and you don't want to do that because stickers are cheap, paint isn't. Yeah, it's coming off way better, but you got to be careful. Yeah, that, that is a lot better. Okay, I'm going to take it down actually to setting one and just give myself a little bit more time to work here.
Okay, now that the surface is cooled, what we're gonna do is use a 3M adhesive remover and a plastic scraper and gently remove any of the excess that's left over. I've never done this before, so I wanna be careful. I'm gonna do a test patch low down the door here, just at a site so that um, if there is a problem that we can correct it quickly. That's coming off pretty nice. Put some paper towel here and we're just gonna gently work around. And work it. So it says spray, but on a vertical surface, you wanna be careful it starts to run, then wipe it off. So we did have a little bit of running at the bottom. I did that already. So spray, 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 spray. Now let it soak. Again, this is a solvent, so you do want to be careful on uh, any type of paint work, but it's 3M, that's what they do with the body stuff, so I feel fairly good doing this. By the way, I did get um, advice from Dallas on this, considering he is the uh, detail guy, uh, sorry, detailing guy. Plus, he used to use it on his bobsled all the time, so pretty confident he knows what he's talking about. coming off way better now. Oh, I like that. I was getting concerned with the other side because I was really quite worried that I wasn't going to get this off. Um, obviously, there are people that can do it, but, uh, you know, this is kind of a DUI channel. Sorry, DYI. So once we're done this, I'm going to hit it um, with probably some Windex, something that's going to like neutralize any type of solvent and then um, come at it with uh, Gretz Garage um, a quick detailer just to, to make sure we're decontaminating the area. Oh, got some rain down here. I'm going to grab that. So as you can see, we've got quite a bit of this done. Um, it looks good. We've, we've gone and kind of wiped down the surface. There's still a lot of adhesive here. So again, slowly we're just going to move ourselves around here and then do a, a quick final uh, work over once we've got all the major uh, areas off. And there we have it. It's nice and smooth. Okay. 
Oh wow. But bam! So the last thing we're gonna do is hit it with some Windex. Just make sure that we don't have any pizza left over. And then uh, maybe some of that nice Kreutz Garage instant detailer. Oh wow, feels so smooth. That's awesome. That's way better. Okay. Kreutz Garage next. Kreutz Garage Speed Shine. This stuff is awesome. We use it for uh, quick detailing deal of the cars. Um, and really helps with the luster quite a bit, to be honest. Awesome. That feels really good. Nice and smooth. I was kind of worried that um, it would dull the paint, but it hasn't. And, uh, you know, feel free to use this technique. Uh, I'm obviously not a professional detailer. But at the same time, we do a lot of work at the track, and you gotta keep those cars looking nice so that you always are representing. Until the next time, remember please to hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks, peace out.